here with Country Craft Creations and Creative Life. And today I am actually going to show you how to make a ornament out of a mousetrap. So um, we are going to be using Graphic 45, a St. Nicholas collection. And I bought this. Was this last year's? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was last year's, right? Or maybe the year before? Um, yeah, I think it was the year before. Um, so... Uh, but I just think this is such a pretty, pretty paper, and I still have a lot left, and so I thought this would be a good time to make a mousetrap ornament since Christmas is coming around the corner, and we're celebrating Christmas in July, so, <laughs> so I just think it's going to be super fun. So um, we are going to go ahead and get started on this. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how I take all of my elements off. And I already took off some of the things. Um, there's like a little clip in the middle here. And I just kind of um, took that off. But I want to show you how I take everything off and then put my papers down and then put them back together. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that first. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the rest of it. So to do the first part, uh, I actually use some of these handy tools um, that are jewelry, you know, making tools. And I go ahead and I use, actually use these two the most. Um, but I do have these little tiny needle nose ones that I can get in there sometimes to help kind of lift things up if I have a problem. So first thing we're going to do, um, the other thing you'll need is um, I have a little hammer and I actually have this from Stampin' Up! or no, Making Memories uh, I got years ago. So, <laughs> I mean years, years ago, you guys. So, I know that there are some uh, people out there that have done videos already on how to um, take apart the mouse traps and stuff, but I thought this still would be fun for um, for Christmas in July celebration. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So this right here, I'm just going to take this off here because we don't need that. Okay. And I'm, I don't know why, but um, I guess because it's hardware, I don't know. I went, I've been saving these um, because you never know what you can use them for. I thought they would be really good for um, like clasps on your um, mini albums uh, if you just cut them down, you know. So I don't know. It was just a, a little idea I had. I don't know how I would put it together, but it sounds good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go ahead and take that off. And then I go ahead and I actually, th th when you get your mousetrap, okay, this part here, okay, this long arm right here actually flips over this square looking thing. Okay. And that's what makes the mouse trap snap. Okay. But to not make it snap, you bring it over like this. Okay. And then this will wiggle back and forth. Okay. So there's two ways you can put your paper on here. One way is to go ahead and um, scoot your paper underneath here. But the problem is, is that this little guy is really on there tight. So you have to kind of lift him up and up and out, I guess. And um, in order to slide your paper under there. So my thought was um, to go ahead and take this apart. Now I did look these this up on, on YouTube. Okay. And there was a gal that um, took hers apart. And I can't remember the name of the gal and her YouTube channel. Um, but um, I didn't watch the whole video. I just watched her taking it apart. Um, well, actually just lifting this part out. And um, so the rest, I just kind of like, I mean, I don't, like I said, I didn't watch the whole video. So I just kind of winged it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure if that she's, she did it the way that I'm doing it, but, um, that's, this is how I'm doing it. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay. 
So, um, so I'm just lifting this up, and if they are kind of hard, you have do have to wiggle these back and forth, you guys. Okay. So there's one part. And then this one should be too. Okay. So there, you want to keep these, okay, and then you also want to straighten these out. You don't want them very, very crooked because we have to put these back in and hammer them back in. Please. And that's why I use two of these because you'll need to, if they do bend, then you'll need to kind of straighten it out a bit. Okay. So, just like that. This one, um, we may have to kind of um, separate it just a bit. Okay. And um, we'll fix more of these when we get to this point, to that point where we stick it back in there. And so for this little thing here, we are just going to go ahead and put our paper over it. Okay. And um, so, and then if you have like little wood sticking out or whatever, you can just grab it and throw it away. Um, Whatever. And um, now on some of mine, I did paint um, the sides. If you want to, you don't have to. I went ahead and you can do paper on the sides. So for that, I also have some of this beautiful seam binding from Tamara Shop that we're going to be using, and that's going to be um, to hold our ornament, okay, on there. And so let me. Look through the paper here. Oh, you know what? I have these here. So I'm going to go ahead and look through my scraps. Basically, um, the mouse trap, the paper is. Let's see here. I don't really measure it, you guys. So um, it's like one and seven eighths by um, almost four inches. So it covers it real nice. So um, and here comes my cat. Because he's nosy and he has to be in the know. So, so we're just going to go ahead and push on that little handle that's sticking up. Okay. And once you get it, um, just push your thumb down on it. And it should go ahead and pop right through your paper. Okay. And that's how I do mine. Okay. Now, once you get it on there, this is where you can go ahead and just glue it down. So I'm going to grab my um, art glitter glue. Go ahead and just line the mouse trap um, with my glue on the edges here. And then up on top, you can put a little bit here, here, and then once I get that done, I'll go ahead and um, just lift uh, uh, this part up that's attached to that little knobby. Thing. And I'll just go ahead and glue that down. And then you might have some paper that is um, kind of like showing 
like on the sides here and you can just cut that off so okay I'm just going to grab my napkin here. And so at this point, I just go ahead and I grab my scissors. So, um, and I just go ahead and cut down my paper off the edges of the wood. Okay, now once you're done with that part, um, now we, you know we've covered up our holes. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take um, either your straight pen or you can get um, your scissors. I use my scissors um, or you can use whatever you would like. And um, what I do is I find my hole. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a bit. Okay, here we go. So this is where I find I kind of I kind of feel with my my fingers where like the holes might be. And so um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just grab my scissors and I'll just kind of feel around <laughs> for the hole. <laughs> and once you find it, it's pretty easy um, to get it so like you can fill where they're at so you can go ahead and even um, burnish it down a little bit more if you need to to kind of get them to pop up a little bit I'm just going to cut this one out on this paper So, okay, so there's one hole. So once you find the one hole, then next you just can find the other hole. And it's pretty, it's going to be like straight up from there. So... Okay, and I just put my scissors in there and I um, make the other hole. I, I just go ahead and make the holes with my scissors. Um, and then straight across will be your other holes. So um, that's a nice thing about finding. But once you get the first hole, it's pretty easy to find the other ones. There's one, and then there's the other one. So that's usually how I do my holes. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know how everybody else does it, but <laughs> that's how I do mine. And um, so, and then, I, like I said, I just turn my, my, you know, my scissors in there. Or you want to get something that you know, can make a hole in there, like maybe um, an X-Acto knife, you know, stick your X-Acto knife in there, make the hole, um, or, you know, I don't know if a pair of tweezers would help or not, so, um, but that's what you want to do there, and then um, what, you're get, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick everything back up there, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and move this paper real quick.
so now I'm going to go ahead and just put glue on the side of this and make sure that this is burnished down all really again. And I'm just going to wrap mine around, just like this. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick on our hardware. So um, you'll need, again, your two little your mechanisms. Now, I have seen people paint these. Um, I haven't painted mine yet. Um, but you can go ahead and do that if you want to. I haven't done, tried that one. <laughs> so, so now we'll need our hammer. And um, okay, so that one so, will fit in there. Okay, so this one might fit back in here. And I I usually check them before I put my um my little this mechanism back on. Okay, so um, you'll want to grab your pliers. Okay, and kind of pull it apart a little bit. That'll work. Okay, so that one will go over here, and this one will go here. And now we can go ahead and put this back on. So now you'll go ahead and this is where you're going to twist it. So you're going to bring this arm over here, this long arm. This little arm is going to fall under here. Okay, and my cat is moving my camera. Jack, stop it. You're going to just go ahead and you're going to put that, push that back down on there like that. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and grab your little, this little piece here, put it over those holes and over that bar. Okay. And you're just going to kind of fit it in there. Okay. Then you're going to grab your hammer and you're going to go ahead and tap on it. And then just go ahead and tap all the way down on it. just like that and then you're going to go ahead and I turn mine out around so I can see better where my holes are and then so for this part you're going to go ahead and put your um, little bar uh, your little handle thing over your bar again okay and you're going to go ahead and set it in that hole Okay. And you're going to go ahead and hammer that in.
Now you can grab this little arm and bring this back over so it doesn't snap on you. Okay. And once you do that, you can go ahead and hammer some more in. Okay. Now, sometimes these little things, like they want to pop up. Okay. So I just go ahead and I I make sure that they're not going to pop up. <laughs> so I hammer them really tight. <laughs> and then, um, so there it is. So now you're you're okay. So you've got your um, little um, arms in and everything, and you're back back to where you have your mouse trap, okay? So now, um, what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and decorate. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and put Merry Christmas down here. I'm gonna put a little, um, actually I'm gonna put a little frame right here for my, um, here we go. oh, here it is. So I thought about putting this little frame here, um, and then my person can go ahead and put a picture in there. I'm going to go ahead and cover. I'm actually going to lift this up. I'm going to put a backing on here, and that way they can slide the picture in and out. So I'm actually going to create a back, and I'm just going to use a piece of small chipboard. Okay, so something like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover this with some paper, okay? And um, let's see here. This is about two inches, so I'm actually going to cut it at one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, okay? So I just need my cutting board again. There we go. So um, I actually could cut it down just a bit. Actually, I can go ahead and chop off those corners. So um, let me get my, um, you know what? It'd probably just be easier if I just did it this way. So let me, I'm just going to chop off these corners just a tad. And, So just like that, you guys, okay? And I'm actually going to put a little bit of foam tape on here because um, they'll need to slide that picture in and out. So you'll need some foam tape, okay? So for that, let's see here.
so they are able to put something in there. So let me get a piece of scratch paper. See if they can. So they can fit a, pi a picture right on in there, you guys. Look. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah. So they can fit their picture in there. So, um, and actually, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, we will stick something in there. But she, she can take it out of there if she wants to. And for that, I'm just going to go ahead and now we're just going to go ahead and put this on here like this okay and I went ahead and left this white and because I, I thought that you know it's Christmassy and I thought it looked really nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that and I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some foam tape on the back of this because it's going to be sitting on this little arm um, I don't know if we can hammer that down. We probably could. I haven't done that yet. But let's see if we can do that. Yep, we can hammer that down. So now we can fit this in there just like that. Okay. And I can go ahead and we're going to um, pop this up. Um, let me make sure that. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and put your seam binding through first. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and put your seam binding through first. And then um, once we get our seam binding through the little hole, okay, then you can go ahead and put your frame on. Mm. Okay, and then we'll put the frame on in just a second. And that. Okay, and then I went ahead and tied a knot up on top. Now, you can do it however you want. If you want to use like that um, cord type of, um, you can do that. Or you can do it like this. However you want to do it. And so there you go. So there is the little um, tie for that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my little ends here so they've got kind of like a little bow kind of looking on there and then you can go ahead and you can add your um you can add your frame okay and your frame's just going to sit right on top of there, like that. Okay. So you're just going to press down, make sure that your, your frame is nice and secure. Okay, and now that we've got um, our tie on there, everything should be really good. So for the other part, I'm going to go ahead and add this green. 
right on the bottom half. Okay, just to give it a little bit of a color. Okay, so now um, we are just about done, you guys. So now you can add your picture in there if you wanted. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm actually just going to cut one of these guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut. I'm not sure how it's supposed to go. <laughs> so, okay, so there is your mousetrap. So, um, and then you can add some stickles to the tree. I thought that would be fun. So let me grab some stickles. And um, so this is one way that you can use some of your scrap. Um, and, uh, you know, send a little ornament to somebody if you wanted to. Um, and, you know, they're fun and easy to make. Um, so easy, you guys. I was scared I was going to, like, totally hurt myself um, with this. But it was so easy. I really had a lot of fun doing these. Um, so I've done a few already. And just a lot of fun. So I'm just going to put a little bit of stickles here. And, um, and maybe a couple on this Christmas. And, um, so, yeah, so I think it's a lot of fun when you get to decorate, you know, something that's different, um, you know, you don't get to do very often. But how fun is that to just hang on the tree um, and send that to a friend and they can pull that out and stick a picture of maybe their little grandbaby or their little grandkids or something. Um, or they could just leave this in there, just like that, and they don't have to, you know, they don't have to pull that out, they just leave it in there. And um, a really super easy uh, Christmas ornament for their tree. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you all like it. Um, I hope you guys try it, and I will talk to you later, because um, 
I'm out on vacation right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys have fun and happy, happy, um, fourth of, not, <laughs> happy Christmas in July, you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>